All right, so we are out in a vineyard with Pedro and Diego. And um, actually, this is a vineyard that we didn't prune. This is undisclosed location uh, because we want to show you what happens when you don't prune well and some of the common mistakes that are made in a vineyard. So Pedro, one of the things that's confusing for people is what is a fruit producing shoot and what isn't? So you want to show us how do you tell the difference between a shoot that's going to produce and one that's a sucker that's not going to produce fruit this year, but could produce a replacement arm for the following year. For this, this cordon, this is a, this and this produce fruit. This too, either way, what you leave, this is produce fruit. So and you can tell that because it comes out of a shoot yeah. from the previous year. Exactly. The problem is that guys pruning here, not pruning correctly. That's why we need to fix a little bit. Then we need to they clean better. That then, then better. To clean better that, the like this, okay? And this too, do you see how the guys cut it? This is not correctly. Okay, then when you put it correctly. So what did they do wrong with that cut? This I need to cut like this because we have only one now. Because yep. he, no, he no leave two, okay? Obvious, this is soccer. Why is soccer? Because it's coming to the arm. Let me get a close up of yeah. that so you can see that. Yeah. This is not coming to the. This is so see on this, right? It's coming from the arm. It's not coming from a shoot from the previous year. Yes. So that's a sucker. So but that's okay this, for replacement. But, this, but no fruit. But this is the good one for the guys cut it because the guys don't know how what is good, what is not. That's why these guys cut this. Okay. Was the shoot for the last year? Yeah. yeah. So no fruit need, on this. No, no fruit on this. Just replace. We have next fruit year. for a very small. That way now we need to leave only one, only this. Then that, next year produce. That's replacement shoot. Yes. Do you see how the guys is not clean better when he's pruned here? Mm -hmm. That way we need to clean him clean. It's dead. Clean better. Okay. Get rid Everything. of all the dead material. Yes. Cut as close to the arm or the cordon as you can. So. Would you leave this little shoot down here? Yeah, they'll leave only one, two. Right, only and you're one, leaving two. that to create a new shoot for next year, and then we can cut this arm off completely. next year. Yeah. Do you see this? The guy no leave nothing here, but I don't know why the guys leave here. Nothing. What do you want me to do now? We leave only one, this little small, then we cut for it. For replacement. Yeah. Then we leave it like this, okay? You can also see in here, this is developing a little bit of eutypa. When you see that pie shape, mm -hmm. you get eutypa in there. It's a fungal disease that is transmitted when we um, do pruning and when it's exposed. So to do that, we carry these around. Mm -hmm. They're little spray bottles filled with a 10% solution of pine salt, which you can spray the clippers, wipe them off. It keeps them clean, keeps them lubricated. Alcohol works okay. Some people use bleach. I don't like bleach particularly, um, but you have to keep your tools clean. Speaking of the tools, what's the main clipper you're using here? It's a Felco number two? Felco number two. Yeah, that's the, the tool of yeah. choice. Baco actually makes a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'll wanna have one set of large clippers, which we'll show you a little yeah. later. <laughs> yeah, it's in the truck. <laughs> okay, we, well, then we start to fix this on. Okay. Like this. So you know, this guy's leaf supposed for him is two, but now nah, he no cut it, he no put it correctly because I need one more. Right, he, see how now, much is left there? Yeah, now we have only one. Now we have only one. I know okay. have two now. We need to clean better. Like this, you need to clean everything. Everything, okay? This two, it's not put too much correctly. left. Too much left. Okay? But sometimes people get too close. Exactly. So when you see that little bud, Imagine it's sort of like an onion on the inside. You have yeah. to cut to the top of the onion. Mm -hmm. What about this down here? We need basura. To basura, because it's coming this way. It's yeah. not coming exactly where exactly we want this. Okay, then we need to clean better a little bit this. Do so you want to put in better? You need to clean everything. This now, this, the guy's pulling here, is the guy's pulling like this, is correctly. But what happened, the guy's only this is correctly in all this arm. <laughs> not good okay he leave only one correctly yes but everything nah it's this wrong. will not produce well yeah and it has a lot of problems like they left shoots 
that are heading in the wrong direction yeah. and aren't going to produce fruit. They consistently haven't sealed the wounds. Yeah, like this. Yeah, like this. Or like this. Like this. Like they, cut, they don't leave one, only they. Leave so on anything. this, this could be a good replacement next year for this one, correct? This one. But what do you do to make sure this grows better? Cut it very small. You clip it just to the one bud. That bud creates new shoot. Mm -hmm. Next year, that will produce fruit, not this year. And then you can get rid of this whole giant arm, which is just a mess. This is soca too. So you can tell that's a sucker because it's not coming from last year's shoot. It's coming directly from the arm. So this is just going to be a replacement spur for next year. Like this, they leave three. Three, no? Right. Clean that up. Mm -hmm. Clean up everything. Mm -hmm. And the more you clean up now, the less suckering you're going to have to yeah. do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. So here's the other tool. This is a Baco something with a 4111 or something. Anyway, it's the 18 inch Baco. Yes, 18 it's sort of our yeah. tool of choice because it's big enough to cut almost anything, but small enough that you can put on a hammer mm -hmm. holster. Um, we also sometimes carry a saw for the really big cuts, but for yeah. the most part, yeah, for the old this, this is what we need. Yeah. 